This hour, we're following a breaking news story from the Los Angeles area. Local, state, and federal authorities have raided a pharmaceutical firm accused of manufacturing and distributing a multitude of counterfeit vitamins and supplements. This raid, of course, comes as the culmination of a year-long investigation begun by CCNN's own senior correspondent, Kelly Faraday. Kelly, what can you tell us? Thank you, Gary. I'm Kelly Faraday, live in the Woodland Hills, where moments ago police raided this innocent-looking office building in a seemingly quiet suburban industrial park and uncovered what may be the largest case of counterfeit hey, Ruth, vitamin and your daughter's on TV. supplements in California history. I'm standing in front of the facility, which until just this morning was still manufacturing these bogus vitamins and supplements, many of which have already ended up on store shelves across the country, meaning they could be in your medicine cabinet right now. As you can see, police are now escorting the alleged ringleaders of this operation from the corporate offices of Duncroft Pharmaceuticals, a once reputable nutritional supplement manufacturer. And your mom look pretty on TV. With me now is Detective Jim Barton of the LAPD. That's my mom. For taking the time to speak She's a time. Rottweiler well, I should be with mascara. If it were not for your persistent investigation, this must have happened today. Can now, you hand me a hook, Big Ruth? aspects of the story is, of course, that many of us may have already been taking these counterfeit supplements for over a year without realizing it. What makes a counterfeit ring like this so dangerous is that none of the items produced here have ever been inspected nor approved by the FDA. So you have no idea what you're getting? That's right, Kelly. Well, today we can only hope that by bringing these criminals to justice, the public can breathe a little easier knowing that these counterfeit supplements will no longer be produced. Thank you, As dear. more details are released, stay tuned to CCNN and continue to check our website for information regarding the Duckcroft Pharmaceuticals recall. Thank you again, Detective, for your time. In Woodland Hills, I'm Kelly Faraday. Today's the big day, huh? Kelly Faraday, anchorwoman, CCNN. You look great. You do, you look fine. You said I look great. It's about time Robert puts you behind the anchor desk. Not so bad for an ex-husband, right? Shut up and get in there. The suspense is killing me. It's your day, Kelly. Own it. Hello, Joan. Hello, Kelly. Robert and I need to speak with you. Where is he? Uh, is that Miss Ohio? I believe it's Iowa. Robert! Kelly. You're back. Yeah. So, here we all are. Who's first? I don't know how to say this. Yes, you do. Kelly, we've decided to go in a different direction. You mean younger? I never said that. Based on the results of a recent market survey, we feel she'll significantly help our ratings. Come on, Robert. Miss Ohio? Iowa. Whatever. Can, can we talk in private, please? Go, go. So, let's start again, shall we? How is Camilla? Same as always. Mad at the world, especially mad at you. Do you think you could give her a hug for me? Why don't you do it yourself? Last weekend was yours. You didn't show up. And I sent her an email. If you want a relationship with your daughter, you're going to have to do better than an email. Robert, I can't believe you're going to have that bimbo as an anchor. You've already announced that I'm going to be made anchor. You sent out a press release. I'll send out another press release. And don't worry, you'll be well compensated. She is not a journalist. Kelly, this is not a debate. The decision's been made. <sighs> then I quit. Your decision. I'm deep into the whole I hate dad thing, but okay, don't you honey, think this... here's the new ground rules. We're not going to talk about dad again for another year. Maybe two. Still can't believe you made that bimbo the anchor. Well, Rebecca is not a bimbo. She's a Harvard graduate. Honey, don't say that. I need to make her the enemy. It's a process. Really? Mom, why don't you go wait in the car? I'll just be a sec. I'm going to wait in the car. Amazing. Good one, Dad. I haven't seen her like this in a while. Sorry about last weekend. I don't care about that. I've gotten used to you disappointing me. Ouch. But how could you do this to Mom? She made this network. 
me unless she quit, okay? She made a business decision. I made a business decision. Don't turn it into something personal. You were married. Everything is personal, Dad. Why can't you learn that? Do I get a hug? Don't change the subject. Walt, work for your grandma Ruth, an old friend of your mother's. Is that a piece of straw in your mouth? Mm -hmm. Cows pee on that, you know. Is your mother here? Mom! Hey. Oh. Hey. You've done well for yourself. Worked hard for it. Camilla's what? She's 13 now? 14? 14. Walt. You could have called. It's important. And I need to speak to you in person. Is it my mother? What happened? Nothing's happened. Then what is it? You know Ruth would kill me if she knew I was even here, right? She don't see so good anymore. And Doc Thorne says it's bad. It's going to get worse. She may lose her sight all the way. Nevada, the Silver State. Yay. Hey, honey, we'll be there in about an hour. Try to have a good attitude, honey. So what's the plan with Grandma? I don't know. Selling the ranch? I don't know. I don't see any other options. Think she'll move and come live with us in LA? I doubt it. She likes the country. So when do we get to town? This is it. This is Main Street. Let's stop and get a cup of coffee, Camilla. Oh my goodness, hello! Oh, what a pleasant surprise. You look great. You haven't changed one iota. Then you need a stronger prescription. <sighs> Hank, this is my daughter Camilla. Camilla, this is Hank. He was my journalism professor in college. I was your mother's first boss before she went all network on us. It's true. He was a tough editor. Taught me everything I know about journalism. She exaggerates. Yeah, I know. So you still the college? No. Retired. Now I just run my ranch, try to run the paper, and try to keep my grandson out of trouble. Come on over here. I want you to meet my friend Kelly, and this is her daughter Camilla. It's nice to meet you, Chuck. His dad's National Guard regiment was just called up, so he and his mom are staying with me on the ranch. Hmm. You going into the newspaper business, Chuck? Hey, Chuck, why don't you show Camilla the sights of our town while I catch up with Kelly? Sounds like a good idea. Why don't you go? Let's go. Oh, they're excited. I'm going to be a doctor. A brain surgeon. I mean, we're talking the brain here. So, do you ever, like... Speak. Yep, when I've got something to say. And you don't have anything to say? And you don't think that's rude? Well, you have to say something. Why? Because I'm not from here. Yeah, that's kind of obvious. What do you mean by that? The whole golf look, it's so five years ago. And the whole cowboy look, it's so two centuries ago. Rationing water. Is that serious, huh? Sure is. Sam is the mayor. Sam the car salesman. The same. 
I know, hard to believe. So tell me, what do you think of the paper? I love it, Hank. It's really great. Congratulations. Speak of the devil. Here comes the mayor now. Your Honor! It's a mighty fine day when Kelly Faraday honors her hometown with a visit. Hi there, welcome. Thanks, Sam. It's been a while. Well, let me introduce uh, Sheriff Liss, outstanding officer of the law, even if he is my nephew. Nice to meet you. Seen you on TV. I was just telling Kelly about the water rationing. Tough times, tough decisions. The droughts hit this town pretty hard. But things will change by this time next year. Prosper Nevada will have its own casino. Casino? Yeah, isn't that exciting? A casino, condos, fashion mall, the works. Wow. Well, if you'll excuse us, I got an eclair with my name on it. <laughs> Oh, Camilla, don't mention that Walt came to L.A., okay? Don't worry, I won't say a thing. Hey, Grandma! Camilla! Hello, Camilla. Oh, my goodness, you've grown like ragweed. <laughs> that better be a compliment. <laughs> Hello, Kelly. Hi, Mom. What are you doing here? Here's a greeting. What if I just want to come for a visit? You haven't come for a visit in a long time. Thank God I make the effort to come to L.A. every once in a while. That Kelly little Camilla? Hey, well, Hi. <laughs> nice to see you. Good to see you. I don't think we've met. We have, but you're only three. Walt Mitchell, your grandma's right hand. Walt and your mother used to be sweethearts. <laughs> really? <laughs> we dated back in high school. It's beautiful here. He is so pretty. Big Ben's a little bit ornery. Careful, honey. She is glad to see you. Yeah, I can tell. So how are you feeling, Mom? Fine, but don't let anyone swindle you into thinking that growing old is fun. Now, how's the ranch? Why do you ask? Well, the drought. We've had droughts before, but this one's killing us. The ranch is fine. No, it's not, Ruth. Walt, eat your lunch. The Millers sold the farm. The Millers? They've been here for generations. Well, they left last month. They sold to that cowboy casino group. The Dunfield farm went last week. Now that's a shame. I'm not selling no matter who packs up and runs. Why don't we take a ride after lunch? Sure. Believe it. Where did all the water go? I used to go swimming here, remember? Yeah. All the wells around here are drying up, including ours. You see what I mean? The hay, everything's looking puny. We just don't have enough water. We can't irrigate it all. I called a guy in Prosper to come check out our well, maybe dig it deeper. That's all I know to do. We need to be pragmatic. It's my mom's eyesight. And everything else that's going on around here, maybe the offer from the casino group is uh, just the right thing at the right time. You know, I came to see you in L.A. for your help, not to just give up and sell out. You're letting emotion get in the way of thinking about what's practical and rational. Rational? I don't see how digging a deeper well can solve all of our problems. How about four generations of tradition? This family's roots, does that mean nothing to you? Mom, I just want to... If you think you can just show up here after all these years and talk me into selling this place, you've got another thing coming. Mom, I know about your eyesight. Walter, I'm disappointed in you. 
As for you, young lady, you can get back in your fancy car and go back to your fancy life and leave us the heck alone. Get your stuff. We're leaving. You know, Mom, someday you're going to have to forgive her. For what? I don't know. You're the one that's so angry. Mom. Grandma. Here. Let me help you. It's okay. Oh. What happened? Oh. I missed a step. I'm not selling this ranch under any circumstances. Is that clear? Yes. Okay. Let's save the ranch. So, what's the plan? I have no idea. Well, it's a start. Getting all settled in? Yeah. So this used to be your room? Yeah. My dad made this for me for my fifth birthday. Hey, Mom. Listen. These sounds used to help me sleep at night. Maybe they'll do the same for you. You'll figure something out, Mom. You think so? Camilla, he's reaching out to you. So? He's your father. He's the only one you've got. Pretty much the way he left it. Your father wanted you to have this ranch. Can we please not go into that again? I left to pursue a career. You may find this hard to believe, but you're in my thoughts every day. Thanks. See you at breakfast. Pancakes. Hey, Kelly, blueberry pancakes, your favorite. There you are. Well, dig in. So, I made a list of all the things that need to be fixed, replaced, and changed around here to make the ranch look like new again. Oh, I can't afford it. Well, I can, Mom. So, please let me do this for you. Fine. <laughs> Give us a makeover if that's what makes you happy. But don't expect pancakes every morning. Okay. So, Barn needs a fresh coat of paint, and all the old fences need to be replaced. No argument there. First things first, though. We gotta get some water on this ranch. The water engineer will be here at 10 o'clock to test the well. Okay. Okay. See, you gotta have more. More what? More water? Yeah, and more gallons per minute. You're down to under 10 gallons per minute. That's no good. Can a water table dry up? Is that possible? The unconfined aquifer? I don't think so. We could always go deeper. That's going to get expensive real quick. 200 a foot. Where can all the water be going? Well, it could be as simple as a seismic shift in the bedrock. Yeah, the trout's temporary. Loss of water source is permanent. Well, for now, we start trucking in water. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Grandma. Hi, honey. Come on in. What's going on out here? A quilting bee. Ladies, 
This is my granddaughter, Camilla. 14 going on 40. Smart as a whip and sassy as they come. Just like my grandma. <laughs> so what are these quilts for anyway? To raffle off at the street dance. Every year about this time. Yes. We raise money for the auxiliary. We gals have been doing this for a long time. Can I watch? Oh, we'd love it. Yes, get a chair. You know, those casino people came by again yesterday. Oh, no, not you, too. We've had to sell farm equipment just to make ends meet. I've never seen my husband so depressed. Oh, that's terrible. Tell me about it. We're thinking of taking the offer. The family farm is dead. Oh, oh. oh come on, Sam. You're doing way too slow to respond on this water crisis. Delays, denials, that's your story, Sam. That makes you partly responsible for this whole thing. All right, now, Walt, well, before you get too carried away, we have installed monitoring devices, and we are conducting analysis on various untapped resources. Sam, uh, Sam, I would just like to go on record that we should not and cannot sell out to this cowboy casino group. Uh, Ruth Hansen, can I just say again, this meeting tonight is not about the casino. This We're... meeting is about us, Sam, us as a community. What we are, what we do, what will become of us. A town as small as this, we become almost like from the same family. Oh, you're yes. absolutely yes. right. Thank you. Yes. Sam, without our crops, we have nothing. So. Let's focus on the crops getting the proper irrigation. That's why I've instituted the water rationing. But why are the farmers doing all the rationing? Why don't the guys at the fire station stop watering down their truck? I agree. I mean, we all need to cut back. Everybody. And you have to stop watering all your cars at your dealership. What I would like is for this year's barn dance to be a rally against the casino. What do you say? That's not what we're here to talk about tonight, people. We're here to talk about the water. You think she'd want to go for a ride? She's not a mind reader. She may have to actually ask her. Hey, Camilla, you want to go for a ride tomorrow? Um, sure. It's 10 o'clock, okay? Yeah. Kelly, what a pleasant surprise. Hi, Dr. Thorne. It's nice to see you. When did you go into politics? Well, a while back. Better than bingo. Uh -huh. Hey, why did those people at that L.A. TV station let you get away? What a bunch of idiots. Yeah, they are a bunch of idiots, aren't they? This is my daughter. This is Camilla. Camilla, this is Doc Thorne. He's the man who brought me into this world. He's my doctor, too, even though we're both older than Moses. Hey, hey. It's a pleasure meeting you, Camilla. Taking your eye medication, Ruth? Sure. When I'm in the mood. Come on, Camilla. Doctors are so bossy. I know, she gets worse with age. I heard that. Oh. 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 Hey. Hey. Thank you. For what? For being here. With my mom. All these years knowing that you were here made me feel less guilty because I knew that you were taking really good care of her. Thank you. You're welcome. I thought maybe if we sold the place, you would feel more free. No. It's not some job I have, Gil. It's my life. No, it's just that being here is pushing all sorts of emotional buttons for me, so if we could just... Um... I understand. Good night. Good night. Is that my mom building a fence? Mm, you bet. <laughs> she and your grandpa built plenty of fences way back then. Can't believe the beauty queen used to be a tomboy. Oh, yes. She could rope a steer better than your grandpa. I wish I'd met him. How did he die? Mom won't even talk about it. A heart attack. But 
Your grandpa was a good man. And who's this? Is that you? That's, uh... That's, um... Uh, you know, I'm so tired. Could we look at this sometime later? Grandma, what can you see? I see a beautiful, strong girl, full of promise. I'm serious, Grandma. I mean, what do you actually see? What I see... It comes and it goes. Um, sometimes it's foggy, out of focus. Um, at times, all I see is shadows. Are you scared? I'd be a fool if I wasn't. How can I help? You are helping. You said you'd be here at 10, it's half past, and I'm busy. I am only doing this because my grandpa put me up to it. Want to go for a ride or not? I don't know how to ride a horse. So you're too scared to learn? Come on, you'll ride, I'll lead. Lose a toothpick. Need a hand? I can manage cowpoke. Laughing. Put your foot in there. Got it. Uh. Hold on to this. Sit tight, all right? You okay? Okay. I'm in love. Whoa. Listen, we just met and, uh, Riding the horse, Lucas. Right. Sure. So where are we? Township lands. What is that? I don't know. Never seen it before. Let's check it out. Are you sure you want to get that open? It looks like a sewer. This isn't as easy as it looks. Who said you're making it look easy? What do you see? It's just a big hole with a big pipe. There's a ladder. Let's check it out. Crazy. You're really going down there? Watch me. <sighs> Wanted to make sure you're okay and all. Oh, thanks. Since I went down first and all. Flashlight. find out. Wait, where are you going? This way. You coming? Nah. Why would I want to go down some old dirty tunnel? What are you afraid of? Well, your grandma for one thing. You're fixing to be quite a piece of work yourself. 
You are a charmer. Smith. Now what are you afraid of? I don't know. Snakes. Nuclear war. You. Now you got nothing to be afraid of with me. Okay then. Come on, stud. Let's go. Hey, Grandma. Hi. Hey, where have you two been? Chuck took me riding. Oh, where'd you go? Just along the property line, where your land meets the counties. Did you have fun? Well, the cave was cool. Cave? It was more like a tunnel. You need to be getting ready. Ready? For what? For the barn dance. I need to get ready. I'll see you guys later. All right. You can show me the tunnel tomorrow. Now go on. Go get ready. Looks like Camilla's got a cowboy of her own. Mom, they're just kids. Yes, they are. So were you and Walt. Answers supposed to be good shots. <laughs> Excuse me? How'd you get reelected anyway? How'd you do that? I think the good people of Prosper, Nevada, know who's looking out for them. That's oh, how. Oh, the casino's looking out for them. Why don't you let me give you a free character analysis, Mr. Go ahead. Maybe you should call it a night. It's okay. We were just leaving. about the people in this town. Sam wants money. And he will ruin the town and he'll sell them out. And unfortunately, I care about the people here. It matters to me. It matters to me, too. No, well, don't. Things can't always stay the same, Walt. That's a real shame. I'm no, no, I'm sorry. What happened between you and Walt last night? 
Nothing? I know when nothing happens, and that was not nothing. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Morning. Morning. What? Nothing. nothing. The pipes and pump are recently installed, and the storm tunnel. The bottleneck appears to be diverting water from the unconfined aquifer. What's that? The water just beneath the surface. The confined aquifer is further below, beneath harder rock. So diverting water? Where? I'm not sure. What do you mean by diverting water? Stealing water. And this is why our wells are running dry. Who owns this land? This township land. The land being held in escrow for the casino. You just a ray of sunshine. Morning, Sam. Morning. Nice setup you have here. Ah, oh, it's only temporary. We're gonna be building a big new auto mall next to the new casino. Huh, great. I'm sorry about what last night. Uh, apologies necessary. Can't please everyone. The important thing is to serve the will of the people, right? Right. I just want you to get this, because this is On that note. No, you can't do better. I thought you should know. I think someone is stealing the town's water. Stealing water? Yeah, I know that sounds strange. What makes you say that? Have you been out to Township Road 5 lately? No. Why? There's a hole in the ground with pumping system and pipes headed due west. Really? Isn't that the land you're selling to the casino? We well, are. Yeah. Norris Properties. You're not accusing them of... I'm not saying it's them, Sam. But someone is diverting the water. Well, I'll look into it. Yeah. I wouldn't ring any alarm bells if I were you, Kelly. No one wants to jeopardize this casino deal. Dash the hopes and dreams of this town? Maybe you could just delay the close of escrow on the land sale until this water business is figured out. I'm the mayor, sweetheart, but not God. But I'll look into it. You have my word on that. And hey, if I, I don't see you before you go back to L.A., you have a safe trip, huh? Thanks. I'll see you, Sam. You want to know something? Now that I'm here, I don't want to leave. It's funny because I didn't even want to come here in the first place. So we friends? My name's Camilla. story for your paper. Oh, only if you write it. Okay. It's about the casino. That's a touchy subject around here. Tell me about it. I think the casino is diverting water from the town. That's quite an accusation. I know. You have any proof? Maybe. This paper supported the casino deal. It was good news for the whole town. I didn't exactly win a popularity contest doing it particularly with the old timers like your mom what's the connection between the casino and diverting the water i don't know i know that it's being diverted seems like an extreme measure to get us to give up farming for a casino don't you think maybe maybe not who's against the casino the farmers and the ranchers tough times tough decisions isn't that what sam said we have to expose who's ever behind this before that public land turns private. Yeah. Let's keep this under wraps for a while. And you need to get more evidence before we can go to press. Thanks, Robert. You more, right? Every 
every day. I see less and less. I can't see. Hey. Hey. I got everything together for tomorrow's fence mending. Water truck will be here first thing in the morning. That's great. And about last night. I am sorry. I was out of line. It's okay. Forget about it. I'm glad you're here. We've got a lot of work to do to get this place back on track. Amen. Good night. Getting close to nature here, so I, I just. What? <laughs> Great. After we're done with these, I want to make one with pictures of you, Grandpa, Mom, and me. Like a photo quote. How are we going to get photos on these pieces of cloth? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm all over that. How's the riding? It's going good. I got Big Ben up to a lope. And Chuck? <laughs> That's going good, too. He lopes, does he? <laughs> no, he doesn't lope, Grandma. I don't know. <laughs> hey, Doc Thor, your office told me I might find you here. That's right. My well-deserved break. Every morning, 10 a.m., sharp. Call it tradition. Can I join you? Absolutely. Sit down. <laughs> I have a question for you. It's about the town council. I hope I've got the answer. What is the procedure for the transfer of township land to a private company or individual? The sale has to be carried unanimously by the council. So you voted to approve the sale of the land to the casino? Well, no, I, I, I missed a few meetings. My wife being sick and all. But you know something? I'm not against it. I've been to Reno. I like the slots. Do you think I could see a copy of the town's bylaws? Maybe minutes of the council meetings? Well, you'll find those in the records room of the county clerk's office. Okay. You know something? I remember the day you were born. 32 hours of labor, I told Ruth. This one is going to be a basket of trouble. True enough. Thanks for the chat, Mr. Rick. Thank you, I will. Hi. Oh. Yeah. Um, what may I do for you? County clerk's office? Yes. Um, I would like to see a copy of the town's bylaws, please. And also, uh, if I could look through town council meeting minutes. Okay. Just one minute. I'm 
my lunch. Don't be romantic. No, I don't mind. I just have a question for you. How can the sale of township land proceed when it was not unanimously approved by the town council? Well, you sure do like to play that pedal on the organ, don't you? I'm freelancing on a piece for the Prosper Post. I thought you were only in town for a week. Well, I can't exactly leave town when the water crisis isn't resolved, can I? And what does this land deal have to do with the water crisis? Well, you tell me. Look, this land deal got the majority approval of council, and that's all... Bylaw number 15, section B. The approval needs to be unanimous. Your sister Bessie and Doc Beatty weren't even present. And Floyd Smithers voted against the sale. As mayor... I can make the executive decisions for the good of the town. Well, for the good of the town, you need to address this water diversion issue before escrow closes. I will give it some serious thought, and you can quote me on that. Now, if you don't mind, I would like to finish my lunch in peace. Enjoy. Will do. Hey. Hey. You're taking a liking to Big Ben there? Yeah, I love crushing him. It's therapeutic. <laughs> for you or for him? What's in the bag? Blanket, sandwiches, stuff for a real cool picnic. <laughs> you want to go? Yeah. <laughs> I really like the way you and Canella are getting along. Of course. She's my granddaughter. You and me? When your daddy died, I needed you. One moment he was gone, and the next moment so were you. Because... You'll see. Stop complaining. Who's complaining? It was just a question. <laughs> Ta-da! The view. This is what I want to show you from here. The view. It's the best view of the town, the valley, and the hills. It's beautiful, Chuck. Really. My dad used to be a judge at the national pageant. That's where he met my mom. This is California. And then four years ago, he was at some other pageant, and that's where he met Miss Iowa. Sorry. It's okay. I don't think my parents were meant to be together forever. You know, some people just aren't. Peanut butter, jelly, or both? Both, of course. <laughs> Thank you. You know what? You just might have potential. Potential for what? Forget it. <laughs> There's my grandma's place. And there's your grandma's ranch. You know, back in the cowboy days, these robbers held up a stagecoach here, figuring it'd be easy. You know, small town, no one around. They didn't figure on the sheriff. He took on the robbers? She took on the robbers. The sheriff was a she? Yup. It was a big shootout when the robbers fled. She chased them all the way into those hills and brought them to justice. Only once she had them cuffed did she realize she'd caught some big fish. See, those boys were part of the James gang. Wow. What was her name? Helen Barnes. Your grandma Ruth's great-great-grandmother. No way. Yes, wait. My grandpa told me he knows everything about this home. Well, I feel like I'm a part of history. What was that? Let's go. Taking enough of my time already. You know, we don't have to be sneaking around. I've got a reputation in this town. You know, we could have met in my office. See, that's how stupid you can be. Now, I told you to wait till the end of escrow to start. Going. I have a timetable. This deal goes south, you can forget about getting reelected. Are you fronting me? Nip this thing in the bud, Sam. You have a lot at stake. We don't want some newspaper story turning the tide in your town now, do we? I'm on it. I've never been a big fan of Sam's. But he's a politician, not a crook. 
Ruth, Sam would steal a hot stove and go back for the smoke. Chuck and I saw him and some other guy arguing today. About what? I couldn't make it out, but it sounded like the other guy was threatening him. Hey, Grandma. Hi, honey. What are you reading? Quilting book. Fun. You sure do have a lot of guns. Now, most of them belong to your great-great-grandmother. You think I'm crazy. I couldn't hold a candle to her. Can I hold this one? Sure. Careful. Is it loaded? No, not for almost a hundred years. Grandma Barnes must have been something. You can say that again. <laughs> she loved this town. She loved the people. That doesn't mean much anymore. But she saved this town. Chuck told me. It was a long time ago. I wonder what that could be. Hello? What? Oh, no. Honey, go get your mother. First deadline I've missed in 15 years. Hank, you make your deadline. Really? Yeah. What newspaper man said? If you can tell in your gut that something's not right, get back out there and keep digging. We'll set up an office at the house. Grandma? Hi, honey. Hi. Want to take a shot? Me? Well, do you or don't you? Probably terrible. Maybe. Only one way to find out. Okay. Now, take your take your finger off the trigger and pull the hammer back with your thumb. And try it. I can't do it. Yes, you can. I can do it. I can't see. Here we go. All right. Get, wait a minute. Don't pull that back yet. All set. Just line it up and follow your nose. Not bad for an L.A. girl. Did you know there's actually a term now called water rustlers? You mean like cattle rustlers? Yeah. It's happening more and more. In some states, it's a crime, but it's difficult to prosecute. And in other states, there's not even any laws on the books. How about this state? Well, it's a misdemeanor to divert water from a township's pipes, but not from the aquifer underground. So then it's not a crime? No. But someone must have official permission to dig or drill for a well on county property. I'm sure Nora Scott Sam's okay. I mean, if I were buying a piece of property, I'd want to test for water, wouldn't you? Then again, we are dealing with Mayor Sam. Yeah. All right, Jack. Norris Jr. Cowboy, corporate raider, accused of manipulating the power grid to artificially inflate energy prices in the 90s. He beat that rap. Yeah. Did you know if this land sale goes through, this is his fourth casino in five years. You don't want to get on the wrong side of this guy, Kelly. He's your best friend until you cross him. Kind of like Ruth Hansen. Regular, to go, please. Mm -hmm. 
Mayor. Some advice. You might want to be more discreet about the nature of your relationship with Mr. Morris. Relationship? Everyone's talking about the argument the two of you had out by the old water tower yesterday. Well, the gossip in this town is often more ridiculous than it is reliable. Have a nice day. You too, dear. Dragging me out here. We got too many people snooping around. I'm putting that fence up around that hole. Too many trespassers. So uh, we close the deal on the Robinson Ranch here and uh, the Coil Ranch, and the paperwork will be done on this one later today. And that's the only piece of land now that's still standing in my way. The Hanson Ranch. I don't think my mom's gonna sell. It's quite the fence. Barbed wire. Well, it keeps coyotes out and the trespassers. I do hate vandalism. Oh. Kelly. Sam, funny meeting you here. Small world. Small town? Kelly Grant, you're even prettier in person. Let me introduce myself. Jack Norris, Jr. It's an honor. Aren't you, uh, jumping the gun a little here on the fence? Esker hasn't even closed yet. Well, it's going to, on Friday, a couple days. What's this? Just checking the groundwater, see how far it goes. It's all right, I got the mare's okay. Haven't you heard? We're running out of water. The aquifer's drying up. Well, that just means we got to go a little deeper, doesn't it? Is that all you're doing? <laughs> well, you got some crazy rumor that you and I were fighting yesterday. Sam, you're an elected official. Can't you at least pretend to be neutral? You're consulting with Mr. Norris could be construed as a conflict of interest. Well, my interests are solely for the good of the community. I'm sure. I was hoping you could make some time for me to do a sit-down interview. I'm doing a story for the Prosper Post. Isn't that the paper whose office was destroyed? Yeah, that's the one. Paper hasn't missed a deadline in 15 years. Well, I like your spirit. I'm going to make some time for you. I'll let you know. Thank you. Oh, um, any news on that water diversion business? Well, I'm still waiting on the report from the engineer. Oh. You know, you can build all the fences you want, Mr. Norris. But I think there's going to be some red faces when this deal gets shot down at the town council meeting. I liked her. Check it out, Grandma. Big Ben actually likes me. I have a present for you. Grandma. You like it? Yeah. Yeah, I'll take that for you. You earned it. How's it look? Great. How about you and I go for a ride? Really? Yeah, let's go. I got something I want to show you. Mortis nilnisi bonum. You know what that means? Of course not, Grandma. Don't speak ill of the dead. That was your grandpa's idea. Who's Carl? Carl was our son. I never knew you had a son. He was stillborn. That's why your mother was so precious to us. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Your grandfather made me promise on his deathbed that I would never sell this ranch. Really? Mm -hmm. With God's hand guiding me and a lot of elbow grease, I was able to keep my promise so far. I bet Grandpa's real proud of me. Oh, I hope so. I feel him here watching over the place. He's with me all the time. Well, I'm here too. 
And I'll help you, I promise. Oh, oh. I would love nothing more than for you to take over this ranch as your own. Me too, Grandma. Oh, oh. Something in my eye. It'll be okay. You better get back. It feels like me. Don't beat yourself up. If it weren't for you being there, I don't know what would have happened. If it weren't for me, she wouldn't have been there in the first place. Where were you going? I wanted her to connect with her grandpa. Kelly? I need to tell you something. When Camilla fell, see. I couldn't see a darn thing. Well, pretty good news. Slight concussion, bruising. A bit shook up, but otherwise she'll be all right. Oh, thanks, Doc. Can I go see her? Absolutely. Camilla is going to be all right. But your mother. It started with her night vision and then her peripheral vision. And now, it's not getting any better. I think you better come see me. Be in the office in the morning. Thank you. sent over the results of your latest tests, Ruth. I'm afraid there's been further degeneration. Oh, I could have told you that. Are there any treatments we should be considering? Yes, there are treatments, but they're risky. And I'd recommend using a cane. I hate canes. Well, my father made this one, and uh, you can have it as a gift. Fine. I'll use it as a weapon. Well, come and see me in a week or so, and we'll see what's next. Thank you. Hello. Oh, it's you again. Well, how can I help you? I would like to see a map of the water table for the Central Valley. In all the years I've been here, 
No one asked me for that until this month. <laughs> and now you're the second. <laughs> Who is the first? Oh, Sam. The mayor. Right. Who's answer? You walking with a cane now? Well, it's not a white cane yet. I can still see right through you, Sam. You don't know what you're up against here. That casino is going to save this town. There will be no town if the farms don't survive. Oh, sorry. Hi, is Kelly here? I don't know where she is. Robert Faraday. Yeah, I know who you are. I know exactly who you are. I got some phone calls to make. I'll just uh, wait by the car. You're going to slow that car down while you're on this ranch, right? Robert? Kelly. Ruth? Oh, sorry about that. I'm still getting used to this thing. What are you doing here? I wanted to do this in person. Do what? Make you my new anchor. What happened to Miss Iowa? She's not an anchor. Let's just leave it at that. What do you say? I'll think about it. Hey, um, there's a guy, Jack Norris Jr., spying up all the land around here and wants to build a casino. I'll check. What about the anchor position? Why don't you spend some quality time with your daughter? See you. She changed your hair. I'm going natural. Looks great. That's that's the truth. Thanks. This is Chuck. Chuck? My boyfriend. Boyfriend. This is my dad. I stopped taking his calls, but since he's, you know, the only dad I've got, I'm thinking maybe I'll forgive him. Dad, this is Big Ben. My buddy. Hey, Ben. Go on, you can pet him. Uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm good, thanks. Oh, come on. You telling me you've never been on a horse? <laughs> scared? Okay, so here's some more info on Jack Norris. He's the CEO of a company called Neptune. Which is a major investor in casino projects. Neptune specializes in the importation of water, runs pipelines to Canada, and is developing technology for the desalination of seawater. Well, the water shortage in California is so bad, Long Beach is building desalination plants. And some companies are now selling water to other cities and towns. Well, who would do that? Jack Norris is selling our water. Hank, good news. I sold a couple of ads for you. Longhorn Coffee Shop, full page. Floyd's Gas Station, half a page. Wow, thanks. How did you do that? On the phone with my quilting ladies. One's married to Billy and the other one's dating Floyd. Ruth Hanson, I think we just found you a new job. Manager of our advertising department. Well, you can talk to Kelly about my commission. <laughs> Okay, we need to go. We're going to meet with Norris. All right, see you at the council meeting. Kelly, Kelly, hold up. Oh, stop, hold, oh, stop. Me and this horse, we are one. Yep. I also got the information on Norris. This casino group, Norris Properties, has an investor company called Neptune Resources, which he's also a CEO. Yeah, we just found all that out. And you also find out he cut a deal with the mayor of Bixford, who happens to be his brother? Bixford is 20 miles from here. They had to shut down one of the mills because of the drought. That's where our water's going. What water? I'll tell you later. Thank you.
he going to say? I have no idea. You want me to come along? No. I can handle him. So, you come out here to say get off my land? That's one way of saying it. Miss Faraday, every casino north properties is built has improved the local economy by leaps and bounds. I can get you all the statistics. I would appreciate that. The same could happen with the town of Prosper. And that's why the majority of folks, including the mayor of this town, support the casino. It's a win-win situation. What does Neptune have to do with casino construction? Well, they're digging our wells, uh, handling all the plumbing infrastructure and the engineering. Stealing our water? That is quite an accusation. Statement of fact. Is water part of the public trust or is it privately owned? That is the debate I welcome. Our time is up. Thank you so much for coming out. Okay. Let's head back to Township Road 5. I want to get some photos of those pipes and pumps for the newspaper. I want to see how far the pipes go. And then we can... what? I love you. I just had to say it. So there. And you don't have to say anything. I just have to say it. is coming. Progress. It's inevitable. But change is not something to fear. Change is something to embrace. 
My casino project is a mammoth venture. It's my life's work, and I do not approach it lightly. And yes, it's going to cause change. It's change for this town, change for each and every one of you. But with that change will come prosperity, where before there was none. And with that change will come opportunity for each and every one of you. And that, my friends, is not a gamble. That is my personal guarantee. Grab it! I love you too. Yeah, I know. Okay. Okay. Now, tonight, I ask this council to reiterate its confidence in our collective and auspicious future by giving its unanimous approval to this deal. I ask you to think of Norris Property as your partner. What about Neptune? Kelly? Mom? Well, as you know, Neptune is another firm of mine investing in Norris Properties, infrastructure, engineering. Engineering, that's for sure. Engineering the water right out from under us. Oh, well, Miss Faraday, you can't just come in here. This man is the reason our farms and our businesses are failing. Uh, do I have to have you removed? You lay a hand on my daughter and I'll kick your butt. Quiet down, everybody. <clears throat> Kelly, you'll have your chance to speak once Mr. Norris is finished. Mr. Norris, you please continue. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'll leave you with this. If you're not interested in progress, I know the people of Bixford would welcome this opportunity for growth and prosperity. Thank you for your time. I trust you will make the right decision. And now, Kelly. Mr. Norris is right about Bixford, his brother being the mayor and all. But the truth is that Bixford needs water, and our town's water table is the linchpin to this casino deal. Mr. Norris's company, Neptune, has already begun diverting Prosper's water to Bixford. And that is the reason why our wells are drying up. Mr. Norris is a criminal, and if we agree to his casino, then we are playing right into his hand and undermining our own community. All right, now, Kelly, that's quite an accusation. Miss Faraday, this is character assassination. Yeah, I think we've heard just about enough from you. I am a blind lady with a gun. You just need to sit there, be quiet, and listen to what my daughter has to say. <laughs> It's all true. Mr. Norris has been stealing our water in order to drive us out of our homes and make way for his casino. And I have the photos and the wet clothes to prove it, and you can read all about it in tomorrow's post. Coming back to Prosper has made me realize how important it is to preserve this town's way of life. My mother's great-grandmother, the indomitable Sheriff Helen Barnes, once saved this town from thieves. And I ask you all to save this town once again. And I ask the council to rescind this land deal with Mr. Norris, and if we don't, Tomorrow, escrow will close, and our town of Prosper, as we know it, will be history. Mr. Norris, I know that you're a litigious man, but I guarantee you the people of Prosper will hold you personally responsible for the losses that they have incurred as a result of your stealing their water for your own personal gain. I wouldn't have it any other way. Ms. Faraday, well played. And there's one more thing. Does this council realize that our mayor, Sam Bridgewater, is on the payroll at Neptune? Sam has been going along with a casino deal and knowingly assisting in the diversion of our water. I can explain. Shut up, Sam. In light of these new developments, I move that we table this motion and thereby nullify this transaction with Norris Properties. All those in favor? It's unanimous. The motion carries. The casino deal is dead. This meeting is adjourned. Sorry, I'm late. Miss anything? 
It didn't go so well. Well, Grandma Ruth got you out Brandon Cattle yet? <laughs> not yet. Well, she can do it. I'm not kidding. Oh, yeah. She's a strong woman. Okay. I'm ready to give you an answer. Yeah? Yeah. Can I ask why? Rediscovering what I left behind. And the best thing to belong here, to take care of the ranch and my mother. Okay. Uh, every second weekend. I promise. And you'll take my calls. Yeah, I'll take your calls. You promise? I promise. I love you. I love you, Dad. Be good. You too. You be good. Take that job? What do you think? proud of you tonight. Your father would have been proud, too. I think so. I know so. I miss him. Still. Yeah. Me, too. I'm really glad I came. play involved. I'm afraid I find that very hard to accept. A couple of things that don't add up. I'm sure you do know what this means. One mystery after another. Mystery Theater, weeknights at 11, on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries.